There's a few things in this lifetime that you won't forget when you're being proposed to, whenever you have your first baby, maybe when you buy your house or get your first car, but definitely when you open a spoiled egg for the first time. That's something you will never forget. And you'll always want to because it's horrid. I'm gonna try to help you to not open rotten eggs by showing you how to tell the difference. Okay, I have a few eggs here that we got from our chickens and a few that we bought from the store several months ago. And I'm going to show you the difference between a good egg and a bad egg. So what you need is some water, enough for an egg to be in. And then I will show you the good egg first. This is one from my chickens outside. And um, it was late yesterday. So watch, see how it sinks right to the bottom. Now I will show you an egg that's on its way to being bad. See how it kind of bobs, stands kind of on its end. This is one that needs to be eaten either today or tomorrow or fed to the dogs is what I usually do. And then this one is a bad egg. See how it bobs up and down? I mean, that's pretty obvious. That one's a bad one. So pretty, Thelma. I want to see the front. Let me see you. Very nice. Taking a spin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Thelma, so pretty. Looks so nice, girl. wandered onto our property about a year ago. She's a peacock and we have no idea where she came from, but she's made a nice addition to our chicken coop. She does not want me to see her face. She just wants me to see that fluffy butt. There she is. Very impressive. Good job, Thelma. Looks nice. This is a good example of two sized eggs. The lighter one is from a younger hen. Oh my gosh, guys, stop. 
Do you want these eggs so bad? Yes, I know. They're not for you. I'm trying to show somebody. Ah, ah. So the bigger egg is from a hen that's... <laughs> As I was saying, the egg here is bigger, obviously, and it's probably from one of my older hens. As chickens get older, they do lay bigger eggs. This one is probably from one of my newer ones. I have four different colored eggs. I just wanna show you the inside to show you that they all are the same. This one is um, a light green from an Easter Egger. This one is kind of a creamy tan from a Buff Orpington. This is a white one from a White Leghorn. And this one is kind of a speckly brown from one of our Well Summer chickens. These are all from my chickens that we have outside. Let's start with the white one. Green. Cream. Green. And speckled. All eggs are created equal. I brought them outside for a little bit better lighting, but if I were to show you this group of eggs, you wouldn't be able to tell me which one came from which color of shell. Um, they are all the same. You might notice these little round white spots on a couple of the eggs. There and there. This means that these eggs have been fertilized. The incubation process has not started yet, so they're not developing. So if you eat these eggs, you're not eating baby chicks. Um, so don't get freaked out about that. Also, in eggs, you notice the little white fuzzy parts on the edge here. Those are called um, a chalice, a chalice. Um, it's basically an anchor to keep the egg upright in the shell um, so it's not flopping around. So, um, you know, your eggs don't come out all scrambled when you drive home from the grocery store. These are not indications that an egg is fertile. Um, every egg has a chalice. Not every egg has the round bullseye spot, but um, the bullseye means it's been fertile, it's fertilized. The chalice does not mean that it's fertile. Also, this one has a tiny blood spot on it, if you can see right there. I don't know if you can see it really good. That also is not an indication of a fertile egg. That means that a small blood vessel popped when the egg was passing through the hen's oviduct. It's completely safe to eat. Um, if it bothers you, you can remove it with a spoon or a fork, or um, even after you cook it, you could just take that spot out. Um, it doesn't mean that it is a bad egg. It doesn't mean that it's a fertile egg. Um, and it doesn't mean that it is unfertile. It's just a little blood spot. Literally, just blood. Sometimes people ask if fertile eggs are healthier to eat than unfertile eggs. And the answer is nobody knows. There's no scientific proof to prove that they are more healthy or less healthy. There's still an egg and they're still delicious. Chickens reach maturity and start laying around six months old, but honestly, I've never had a chicken lay around six months old. It's always been um, around nine months. 
to a year before my chickens started to lay eggs. Um, they stopped laying eggs around seven or eight, um, but they do <laughs> slow down. But they do slow down quite a bit as they get older. Um, also, depending on the breed that you get, they won't lay through the winter. Um, it's kind of their time off because they need 12 hours of sun to, um, to lay eggs. Some people put lights inside of their coop at night just to, um, to do like fake sun. <laughs> so they, uh, so they get their 12 hours of sun and then they will lay depending on the breed and depending on if they're cold hardy or not, if they do well in the cold. But, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of dependent on the breed that you get. Hens do not need a rooster to lay eggs. They'll lay eggs regardless. But if you want to get fertile eggs, then you'll need a rooster. And they're just really pretty to look at. Tell me you're not a rooster, are you? But you're curious. Monty seriously can't shut up until I start filming and want him to crow. And then he's like, 